Hi, my name is Taylor and this is the video for my activity analysis. So for my activity analysis, I decided to do shampooing your hair, which falls under the activity of daily living of grooming and personal hygiene. So this is important for our clients and for ourselves because it is cleaning our hair and scalp, making sure that we're clean. Um, so let's talk about grading the activity up or down. So grading down the activity or making it easier, we can do that in several ways. One of them being adding a bench or a stool inside of the shower or tub to allow your client to sit down and that kind of alleviates some of that stress on their body. Um, placing the shampoo bottle within reach so that they're not having to move around in their tub if they're at risk for falling. Um, the slippery tub can be a little bit dangerous, so just trying to um, prevent that a little bit, as well as allowing them to take breaks during that scrubbing process of your hair, which you'll see in just a little bit, um, which typically takes around three to five minutes if they don't have any issues. Um, this can be a little stressful on some people's bodies, so just allowing them to take breaks. And then ways that we can grade up this activity or make it a little more difficult for those who um, are trying to build those muscles that are being used. Um, one way is by placing weights on the person's wrist, um, placing the shampoo bottle out of reach, and requiring the individual to scrub their head and scalp for the full three to five minutes or until their hair is clean without any breaks. Um, some contradiction, contradictions, <laughs> sorry, struggle with that word, um, include but are not limited to like quadriplegia, especially with injuries at C4 or above, that's really going to make it difficult, uh, impossible for someone to use their upper extremities and complete this activity by themselves. Um, or having a rotator cuff injury will make it really difficult as well because it'll either be really painful or dangerous um, to complete this activity because we're using a lot of those muscles. So before I get into actually doing the activity, I am setting this up as if the client or me, as um, you'll see, is already standing in the tub, undressed, theoretically, I will not be undressed for this, and um, they will be standing. So let's get on into it. All right, welcome to my shower. So I'm going to be completing the theoretical activity of shampooing my hair. So I'm starting, as I said, standing in my tub with my shampoo within reach. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reach for the shampoo bottle with my right hand. So I'm going to internally rotate my right shoulder, extend my elbow, and sh shoulder horizontal adduction. Next, I'm going to grasp the shampoo bottle with my right hand. So there's going to be some ulnar deviation, flexion of digits, and my thumb. Next, to open the shampoo bottle cap, with my right second digit. So I'm going to extend my second digit and flex second digit. And that is based on the particular shampoo bottle that I have with that particular cap. It will vary. So next I'm going to bring the shampoo bottle to my left hand. I'm going to adduct and flex my elbow. Next I'm preparing to pour the shampoo into the left supinated hand, so I'm going to supinate my left forearm, um, flex my elbow, and pronate my right forearm, and flex my right wrist. So that's pouring the shampoo, guys. <laughs> um, so now I need to place the shampoo bottle back on the shelf, so I'm going to flex the right shoulder. Um, extend right elbow, wrist and ulnar deviation with extension, and abduct and extend fingers and thumb. Now I'm going to bring my right hand back to my side, so I'm going to flex 
my right elbow and extend my right shoulder, adduct my right shoulder and downwardly rotate. Then I'm going to bilaterally bring my hands to my hair. So I'm going to flex both my elbows, flex my shoulders, pronate forearms. I guess they're already pronated. Um, externally rotate my shoulders and shoulder abduct. Now here's the fun part. I'm going to be scrubbing my hair using hands for three to five minutes or until the hair is clean. So that's requiring me to upwardly rotate my wrists. Ulnar deviation reverse and radial deviation reverse, which looks like this. Um, this will alternate between the ulnar and radi radial um, deviation in order to get my whole head. Um, and then I'm also going to flex and extend my, sorry, extend, no, sorry, flex and extend, oh my goodness, my um, fingers in order to really get that scrubbing motion um, into the scalp, which is my favorite part, feels so good. Um, and so we're just going to be alternating between these in order to get the soap really distributed into my hair. And then once it's been for five, three to five minutes, we're going to then um, rinse my hair through extending my spine while I continue to do this. So my cervical spine is extended as I am um, alternating between upper and, sorry, ulnar and radial deviation and extension and flexion of my fingers. And that is how you shampoo your hair. Thanks guys for watching.